Clint, well, the streaming wars are heating up with new services out now from Disney and Apple. And it doesn't stop there as more are on the way. So new this morning, we're exploring how TV watchers are reacting from the streaming service overload. Jen Amburn and Aaron Weir are friends, co-workers, and big fans of anything Disney. Say I'm obsessed with the place is a, is a little, little of an understatement. Growing up, it was Little Mermaid, it was Lion King, it was Cinderella. Those are all my favorites. In fact, Jen helps people plan their Disney trips, and Aaron worked at Magic Kingdom. So when Display launched its new streaming service, Disney Plus, last month, their reaction was immediate. How much? <laughs> and, and I will totally just take my money. <laughs> Disney gives viewers access to countless Disney movies and shows. So now being able to have those all the time, whenever I want, I'm excited. Yeah. Both women are cord cutters and rely on streaming for entertainment. But what was once simple has become less so, with more services moving into the fray. Apple TV Plus launched last month, and next year, four more join the ranks. HBO Max, NBC's Peacock, the Discovery Channel streaming service, and another called Quibi. They'll be fighting for viewership in a now-saturated market. Jen says now she is rethinking some of her current subscriptions. Just because I know what my watching habits are going to be now, so I'll probably cut out a couple, one or two. But choosing what to cut can be tough. That's going to be important because uh, my boyfriend loves sports. He's huge into football, huge into baseball. Aaron plans to keep services to watch the shows Disney doesn't offer. I love basic shows like Friends and all that kind of stuff. And according to a study published by Forbes, that may be the norm, with most customers saying they'll keep their current services while adding just one or two more because... It's still going to be cheaper than having like cable or paying for a direct TV or something like that. And the decision of what to keep usually comes down to price. For Netflix, its basic plan is $8.99 a month, $2 more than the $6.99 price for Disney+. Plus. But they're offering a bundle deal with Hulu and ESPN+, Plus, all three for just $12.99 monthly. That's the same price as Netflix's standard and most popular plan.